Hi everyone, it's Johnny Seed here again. Now, if you see my last video from the uh, History's Dumpster blog, then um, you will know about the History's Dumpster blog. Hi everyone, it's Johnny Seed here again. Now, I was just filming the last video on the History's Dumpster blog, and I noticed a, another entry uh, which caught my eye, and I thought, oh, that sounds interesting. I think we should check that out. So, um, this is from Thursday, June 2nd, 2016. I'll just jump over to the screen capture now. Okay, You Are Everything, Judas Priest, unreleased, 1988, demo snippets. So that I thought that looked interesting, what's that? Let's, uh, let's have a read, shall we? Uh, if there was one set of producers, one band, and one song you would have absolutely never made any connection with whatsoever in 1988, it's Stock Aitken and Warman, Judas Priest, and the Stylistics 1971 hit, You Are Everything. Yep, yeah, okay, so I'd never heard of this view. Uh, for those not aware of Stock, Aitken and Waterman, they were the legendary 80s producer, producers of similar sounding UK pop hits by numbers, including Bananarama, Kim Wilde, Rick Astley, Kelly Minogue and Sonia, and others. You couldn't get any more polar opposite musically if you tried to say nothing of a heavy metal cover version of a 70s song masterpiece. This keeps getting better, doesn't it? But although these are fragments of an unreleased demo, this is actually pretty damn good. Judas Priest did it right. Faithful to the stylistics original, you don't want to screw around with the classic, but carefully arranged for a metal power ballad. Uh, Stock 8 and Waterman kept the drum machines and synthesizers in check. They knew what song this was and what the band they were dealing with. The band also recorded some also as yet unreleased original songs from this session, uh, but the band says it's unlikely the whole songs will surface. Judas Priest guitarist Glenn Tipton also recorded guitar solos for a Stock Aitken and Waterman produced artist, Samantha Fox. Didn't know that. And um, was credited on 1991 track Spirit of America. Uh, read more about it in the Blubbermouth article here. So um, I'll put a link to this article here and a link to this uh, blog spot here. And it looks like we have a video that we can watch, hopefully. So I'm just going to don the ear goggles and uh, we could enjoy Stock Aitken Waterman producing Judas Priest doing a stylistic song. Well, hopefully this will still work. Okay, something like a bit of fretless bass. Big sense. I would not say this was Judas Priest though. Fades out, no. This would have been a huge hit if they'd released it, I'm pretty sure. 988? Come on! <laughs> yeah, I can imagine 988 being all over this. What with like Europe and Bon Jovi and that. Oh, is that it? That's all we get. Oh no. Oh, painfully, painfully too little. Oh, never mind. Okay, so that was Stock Aitken and Waterman producing um, Judas Priest. You could make it up. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.